Hi, and welcome to another edition of Guess What? Kim's Kitchen. I'm your hostess, Kim Doyle Lilly, and I'm brought to you by the Real Women of Philadelphia, Philadelphia Cream Cheese. Today, we're going to feature original cream cheese, two bricks of it, because we're going to make the fastest meal. I'm not even going to have the time to talk today. I mean, normally, the biggest problem I have with my videos is I have to edit out everything I say because I talk too much before I start because literally it took more minutes to gather the ingredients here than it will to mix this up. So I just wanted to give a shout out to all you wonderful women in The Real Women of Philadelphia. You have inspired me. I've seen a lot of your videos. I've read your bios. I'd really like to be participating in the forums with you and I will be soon, as soon as I'm done videoing and entering. But for right now, I have limited computer usage in a day and I have to spend it doing this and entering and trying to be like one of you, being one of those 16 finalists. We're just going to take a medium mixing bowl and we're just going to go to work here. Here I've got two 8 ounce packages of Philadelphia Original Cream Cheese. They've been softened to room temperature. I've softened a half a cup of butter. We're going to just put that in the bowl. This is so easy. All you're going to do is dump and mix. I'm going to take about a quarter of a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. You can just use that regular grated kind that we all love by craft. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and use a fresh grated because so, I need to use it up. It'll taste great in there. I'm going to go ahead and use measuring spoons. I've kind of crafted this recipe over the years. And, the, and most recently, I'm using it simply because our Kroger's and City Markets um, locally and across Colorado are no longer stocking Philadelphia garlic and herb cream cheese, which I loved. It, so I've gone back to making this, and I think you might want to know the recipe too because I've combined three different favorites over the years, so they come to taste as much like Borsa as possible, the French cheese we all know and love. I just have a half a teaspoon of tarragon vinegar. That'll just give it a little spice. You could use half a teaspoon of lemon juice as well. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to add half a teaspoon of Beaumonde. You've probably all seen it. It's Beaumonde seasoning. Half a teaspoon of basil leaves. Half a teaspoon of dill. Half a teaspoon of oregano. Half a teaspoon of thyme. Just thyme leaves, not the ground kind. And we're going to use one quarter of a teaspoon of tarragon. I've minced up one tablespoon of green onion. This is all minced up fine. That only took me one minute to do. So we're going to dump that in there. And then I chopped up two teaspoons of minced garlic. And we're going to put that in there. We'll just put in about a half a teaspoon of salt. I kind of just measured in my hand like my grandma taught me how to do. And I love using kosher salt. It just seems to bring up the flavors better. Then we're going to grind in about a half a teaspoon of pepper. I've got a tri-color blend here with red, green, and black peppercorns. So I think that's going to do me about right. And that's it. Look at that, you guys. All we're going to do is blend this together. You can serve this right away. That it, it absorbs the flavor right away. Or if you want to, you've got a busy summer coming up or even during the holidays. I love having this around because it's a fast thing. You can just store it in a covered plastic container in your fridge and you're good to go. If you prepare like I do on Sundays, sometimes I get a real urge to cook, especially in the wintertime on Sundays while I'm watching the Broncos play, then I'll make something like this up ahead of time in case something comes up during the week, I've got it. And there you have it, the herb cream cheese. I want to serve mine in individual plates. As some of you know, I'm wearing my Hawaiian outfit here trying to get in a better mood today because I've got more friends moving away and walking away from their houses and businesses. And we're actually celebrating the bon voyage of my roommates I've had for some time. I just announced two days ago that they have to leave. Their last job didn't pay them. For right now, I'm just going to put these in little molds and put them on a tray in the freezer. These will just set in the freezer for probably 10 minutes, I think, and then I'll just dip them in some hot water to loosen them. There we have our four little individual pâtés. That way I can put them on little trays around the yard tonight when we're celebrating and playing horseshoes and have some crackers and fruit on them. It'll be really easy. 
I'll tell you what, I had to lick that spatula and it is yummy. We have got a winner here. I'm drying off this little mold. I've had it soaking in hot water. It only took 10 minutes in the freezer. And I'm just drying it off so it doesn't muck up my plate. Then I'm going to put my plate on top of the mold and just flip it over onto the plate. Oop, I can see some ooey gooey goodness coming out of there already. Oh, look at that. Little hearts. I cleaned up that plate a little bit. It only took half a minute to do. I'm going to go ahead and decorate this right now. I think we're going to just go ahead and put a strawberry right there. We'll go ahead and put some crackers around. And I'm going to lay these four different plates around my yard on little plastic tables so as people are playing horseshoes and stuff, they can go ahead and help themselves to the food. And there you go. I've got some pear there, some fruits. Now, is that gorgeous or what? Another quick shout out to Philadelphia Cream Cheese. Thank you for this awesome opportunity and for bringing so many of us women alive and making us strong again. I appreciate you more than you can know. Here we go. I get to taste it. Start to finish five minutes. Come on. I know you can do this too. You can have it in your fridge, ready for any time. Great for the holidays, great for summer, whatever you want. Oh, it looks beautiful. Look at that. It stands right up. That rich Philadelphia cream cheese makes everything come out just fine. Here we go. That flavor of the cream cheese and the garlic and the onion and those layers of spices and that butter and the parmesan. Man, that is so good. And you know, I usually always use Kraft Parmesan. It's just because somebody that is going to be eating this brought me that parmesan and I wanted to use it to show them I really appreciate it and I'm using it. But I usually use Kraft just grated parmesan in that little green jug we're all familiar with. So I just want to tell you guys at the marketing department in Kraft Philadelphia cream cheese to get on Kroger and City Market. Get them to give get the garlic and herb cream cheese back. That was such an easy fast thing. Even though this is easy, that was so easy. They tell me that so many people are buying less groceries, that they're stocking less stuff. They're just stocking basics. So that tells us how rough our economy is. I also want you to know that when I make a recipe, I'm always trying to find ingredients that can be found across the United States. I've been worried about using Chipotle and I fear that, no, that people don't have them yet. Us, for instance, in the Rocky Mountains, we can't find a cannoli shell on the whole western slope. I doubt the eastern slope can either. Maybe they can in the big cities along the Front Range in Denver and Colorado Springs and Pueblo and Fort Collins. So I'm trying to make sure that anything that we do, we can prepare for rural America too. Rural America is hurting right now. We need low-cost meals. And I think Philadelphia cream cheese does such a great job of making your dishes sophisticated and beautiful and healthy and rich and I just think it's a great thing to use Philadelphia cream cheese. It's an inexpensive alternative. So I just want to encourage all of you to go out and help your neighbors. I know I keep harping on it, but I have the soapbox right now. I'm going to use my voice to help people. Please reach out to your neighbors. Go out there in America right now. Serve them up some cream cheese, share your food, share your cream cheese. And before we go, I wanted to offer my favorite, favorite quote in life that I've known since I was about 15. And when times get difficult, which there have been several in my life, I always fall back on this great quote by Teddy Roosevelt when he was riding with the Rough Riders. And I just wanted to offer it to all the women competing in this because I know it's hard for a lot of people who are spending their last time trying to get this contest and trying to win it and hoping against all hope that they can be one of the 16 chosen and then one of the four finalists. 25000 is a lot of money, and it solve a lot of problems, and it could do a lot of good for others. So, here's my favorite quote. We the willing, led by the unknowing, are doing the impossible for the ungrateful. We have now done so much, for so long, with so little. We are qualified to do anything with nothing. We can do it. So until next time when we're making appetizers, this is Kim Doyle Willie checking out and reminding you to go break bread and create some community. Take care.